In the recent past, high data rate wireless communications are often considered synonymous with an orthogonal frequency division multiplexing OFDM system. OFDM is a special case of multi-carrier communication as opposed to a conventional single carrier system. The concepts on which orthogonal frequency division multiplexing is based are so simple that almost everyone in the wireless community is a technical expert in this subject. However, I have always felt an absence of a really simple guide on how orthogonal frequency division multiplexing works which can prove useful for technical persons not wanting to deal with too many technicalities, such as DSP experts outside communications, computer programmers, ham radio enthusiasts, and the likes. So here it is. Orthogonal frequency division multiplexing is the technology behind many high-speed systems such as Wi-Fi, IEEE 802.11a, G, N, AC, WiMAX, IEEE 802.16, and 4G mobile communications, LTE. A close cousin, discrete multi-tone, DMT, is used in ADSL and powerline communication systems. Therefore, it seems imperative to have a signal-level understanding of how orthogonal frequency division multiplexing works. We start with a short introduction to a wireless channel. 